Hello and welcome to Higher Maths Functions and Graphs Logarithmic Graphs. So I was going to have a quick look at graphs of inverses, which we cover in Chapter 4 from the textbook, but we're going to have a quick look at it just now, just because the a logarithm is the inverse of an exponential, which is why I'm choosing to just chat about this now, but we do cover it fully later on. If we have the graph of a function, then we find the graph of its inverse by reflecting in the line y equals x. So the line y equals x is the line where the y coordinate equals the x coordinate. So say the x coordinate was one, the y coordinate would be one. If the x coordinate was seven, the y coordinate would be seven. So the line y equals x is essentially the line that has zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight on it, and so on. So it is that line that's going northeast as we go from left to right. So if we have y equals f of x, the graph of the inverse function, which will essentially undo what f of x does, is just the reflection of y equals f of x in the line y equals x. So if that's y equals f of x, there's y equals the inverse of f of x, which we can write as f to the negative 1 of x. Here's y equals g of x. We reflect that in the line y equals x to get y equals g to the negative one of x. So why am I telling you this? Well, a logarithmic function is one of the form y equals log to the base a of x, where a and x are both greater than zero. And logarithmic functions are inverses of exponential functions. So to find the graph of y equals log to the base a of x, we, we can reflect the graph of y equals a to the power x in the line y equals x. And when we do that, so let's just remember, there's our graph of an exponential. So if I was reflecting that, let's just get a pen up. If I can do that, there we go. Trying to, oops. Here we go. Remember the point one comma three would also be on this. Not sure if you guys have ever written with a mouse before, but it does take a while. So there we go. So there's the exponential curve y equals three to the x. So if I reflect that, the point zero one will end up at one zero. And then reflecting the curve. We'll do this, and the point one comma three will end up at three comma one. So this is the curve y equals three to the power x, and this is the curve y equals log to the base three of x. Okay. So if I scroll down, in general, that is what the log curve looks like. So log to the base a of a, log to the base a of x goes through the point one zero and a comma one. So if I'm sketching y equals log to the base six of x, that would go through one zero and six one, and it would take that form which is the reflection of the curve y equals 6 to the power x and the line y equals x. So if I was sketching y equals log to the base 2 of x, it would look almost identical to that, except this point would be 2, 1. Log to the base 10 of x would go through 10, 1. And log to the base a of x would go through 1, 0, and also a, 1. And that is log curves, or logarithmic graphs, I should say.